okay dear student let us see how to do this question now two identical containers x and y it means volume will be taken same for both of them each contains an ideal gas x has n molecules of the gas at absolute temperature t and y has three n molecules at the temperature of t by two what is the ratio of their pressure okay so first of all we are now going to use the ideal gas equation here so uh, in case of x like for x it will be uh, px and the volume is same in both of the cases so i'm just writing it v now pv is equal to nrt and what is n n is number of moles and how do you find number of moles number of moles is found by dividing the total number of molecules divided by avogadro's number so small n can be written as n divided by avogadro number that is 6.023 into n by 23 okay now this into r into t because t is the temperature at which the the box x is maintained and now similarly for y i will write it as py v is equal to now the number of molecules are three times now it's 3n so 3n divided by avogadro's number multiply by r universal gas constant and the temperature that is maintained is t by 2 now we need to find the ratio of py by tx so it means we have to divide the equation number 2 by equation number 1 so py into v divided by px into v and we can just divide these two equations by writing if you face any problem with mathematics what you can do is you can find a constant term and you can replace it later okay so you can divide it and uh, okay i tell you okay i'll do like that only so this will be 3n divided by na r t by 2 multiply by now this was the second equation and it was supposed to divide it so it means we need to multiply with the reciprocal of this so the reciprocal is na will become the numerator n into r into t and all these things will get cancelled out and it will be 3 by 2 and v and v is also getting cancelled so we get py divided by px is equal to 3 by 2 and c should be the answer for this this is how we have to do it and the substitution process that, that i was talking about that will be done like this you can take this thing common like n divided by this r into t and you can compare it here so you can completely substitute this and only 3 and 2 will be left so it will be py into v will be 3 by 2 multiplied by when you replace this complete term here instead of this it will become px into v v and v gets cancelled out and you get the same answer that is py by px is equal to 3 by 2. so mathematics uh, it depends upon you like what methods for from the algebra that you want to use but otherwise you are going to get the same answer here p y by p x equal 3 by 2 okay dear students this is professor Varun. please subscribe to the youtube channel and do share the youtube channel with all your friends all the best